set of the season, guys. It's safe to say that the Christmas season is upon us and we're here for it. This is my favorite season of the year, so I'm super duper excited about it. And on that note, I welcome you to another beautiful episode of Street Fout, brought to you by Manifest Apparel. Now, with all this my excitement, unfortunately, we're gonna be talking about something really, really serious today and quite bothersome, and that is the state of our democratic system as a nation. Now, with recent activities surrounding um, Sahara Reporters publisher Omoyele Shore's arrest and re-arrest and of course the ongoing social media bill that has been argued to supposedly dent our freedom of expression. Our democracy is once again in question. Today we take it to the street to hear from the people, hear from the horses mouth. What really is the state of our democracy? Where did we miss it? How did we get it wrong and how best do we address it? All this right now. My name is McQueen reporting for duty. Let's go to the streets. Let's go. <laughs> This episode of Street Files is brought to you by Manifest Apparel. Okay, Mr. Danny, I want to ask you, what do you think about our democracy right now? Do you think the people still matter? Is it a government still of the people, by the people, and for the people? Uh, looking at it uh, uh, objectively, uh, what we see presently as democracy is not what democracy defines itself because the people that are representing us, they are not representing us for the benefit of the public. They are there probably for their own selfish gains. And for the policies that are presently being uh, implemented by government or being processed in the House of Representatives, they are not uh, the type of policies that can be say we can have democratic dividends. Uh, what we are seeing is not actually what democracy is all about. This um, democracy we are in is supposed to be uh, you know, controlled and determined by the people. But because we are not doing what we are supposed to do, governments are not ready. Actually, we, we, we know that the government are not ready to give us what we deserve. But as people, there are some levels who will we, 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 we do things that um, will place demand you know, we we'll place demand on things we deserve as people. For example, good roads, we, we should place demand on them. For example, health, when we place demand on them, governments will do it. You see, whatever they throw at us, as people, we'll manage, we know. You know, we'll just manage things that we'll sort out things. And that's why democracy is not working the way it should work. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing like democracy. There's nothing like democracy because they said, um, government by the people for the people and whatever, whatever, it's not going the right way. The government are actually about themselves, so all this um, act of um, breaking the, <clears throat> the internet and Facebook and you know, that is not, that's not the way forward to, to where we are going. Government has to do something about themselves and about the people, not about the social media because a lot of people are gaining from the social media like earning their own life lively income and all that so all this social media is, is not the way forward the government has to do something about themselves not the social media is the government still for the people by the people just like it used to be do we still matter do, do the people still matter our opinions what we think does this still matter yeah um First of all, as a people, do we have a unified opinion as to what governance is? Where we are divided along um, various key points like religion and ethnicity. So as a nation, as a people, we don't even have that one voice to answer this. So I'm not sure we are together as a people to even talk about or make demands about what our democracy is. Yeah, it all depends on how you could categorize the people and how people also see themselves and categorize themselves. We are in a society where there are class differences. And of course, we have those ones that are in the upper echelon of the society, those we used to call the bourgeoisie when we were 
idealistic in our student activism. But today you find out that politics is a mixed grill of just anybody. And as a result of that, the people orientation as far as politics is concerned is at the lowest end. Rather, it is personality oriented orientation. And this is why you find the big guys always trying to take over the consciousness of every other people. And as a result of that, it is no longer people oriented, but personality oriented and democracy that is supposed to be part and parcel of our system is no longer what a real democratic process should be. Can you tell me ways in which our democracy as a people has been dented? Uh, looking at it, when you see the electoral system too, it is not the, the people that actually voted that matters. There is a lot of uh, thuggery and undemocratic uh, ideas that are coming into the system. And the government is not working towards bringing out a real democracy that are people oriented. So those are what we see. When uh, election is not counted by people who actually voted, it means that we are not practicing true democracy. How best do we ensure that you know we have that unity and of course ensure that our democracy is stronger and stronger? Well, I think it boils down to education. We are first Nigerians before Yoruba, Igbo, or Awusa. So we really need to break that chain of division. The drum of war that has been sounded by some people, we are not together, these people being marginalized and all that, we need to come together as a unit. And in a democracy where there is no freedom of speech, where there is a bargain or whether to, of, on whether to speak or not to speak, you know, you see that it, it, it's a big problem, you know, it's a big problem. When, when, when we are put in a box, whether to speak or not to speak. When you are in fear, to speak to your government is a big problem. And that's one of the pillars of democracy. When you cannot speak, there is nothing democratic, actually. They are asking us to go to school. Go to school, nothing to show for it. Now, we're having a very huge numbers of Yahoo guys. Why is that? Is that, that is not normal, because the government themselves, they are the biggest Yahoo. Ask you to react to the whole show or matter. What do you think about the whole thing? I mean, him fighting for a revolution and being detained. What is your take on this? Seriously, I don't think there is not there is anything like fighting for revolution in this country. Delegiwa, that wanted to do something about this country. That was out. He died trying. So, if this country wants to go back to the to the main source, then people have to stand up now. Not show. Uh, it can't. It can never be. It can never be showore. Seriously, because every every good people standing up to do something good in this country, they are they, they are always they are always going after them, and it's very bad. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so very much for staying with us. And don't forget to watch this space for our upcoming Christmas special. Yay! It's gonna be bang da da bang. But anyways, keep up the following across all our social media handles at Connect Nigeria and at CNTV Media. And also check out our website at www.connectnigeria.com. Until I come your way next time, I remain my queen. Bye-bye. This episode of Street Files is brought to you by Manifest Apparel.